So here I'm going to show you how to use the sweep feature, which is incredibly useful and interesting. Uh, I personally find it a little bit more interesting than the loft feature just because of what you can do with it. So what I'm going to do to start is you need to make a profile of something that you're going to sweep and you need a rail that it can sweep across. Sweep along, I guess. So I'm going to create a work plane. Um, and sketch on it. And then I'm going to project the existing geometry into that sketch. Now, this is really problematic when you create a work plane in the middle of something and a sketch in the middle of something. You can't see what you're doing. So what you do is you hit the F7 key, and that cuts the graphics up so that it, it hides all of the part between you and the sketch so that you can see what you're doing here. So I'm going to create a, a bead along this. Just... So you open up the sweep, and it gives you profile, path, and then you can make it parallel or uh, or follow the path. I'm going to make it follow the path for reasons you'll see in a second. So I select the profile, and it automatically hops down to the path. And then you just select all of the lines that you want it to follow. You can also select uh, perpendicular lines, but sometimes that will give you weird effects going on. And you can taper it, which just makes it get bigger or smaller over time. If it's out, if it's not possible to do, then Inventor will just not show it at all. So that's the sweep. If you if you're making molding, if you want to put a lip on something, if you want to put a notch in something so that it's um so that it can fit into something else easily. That's the feature you use. And you can also just do uh, free sweeps in open space to make uh, pipes or systems of that nature, but you can also use Inventor's pipe feature. I hope you found this useful. Thank you.